Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy data to Azure files using GSH Copy 360 Enterprise. Once we have the application installed, we we'll right click anywhere and create a job. We're going to create a, we're going to skip the wizard because that's going to be a cloud job. Click finish. We give that a job a name. Azure file copy test. We're going to select the source. Now, uh, this is going to be a local disk. I'm going to copy from the E drive cloud storage, just some dummy data. I'm going to copy files instantly. Now, we want to copy the destination. In this case, it's going to be Azure Files. So click on Azure Files here. And you want to configure the connect task. So you click on the plus sign if you don't have one pre selected or created. Account name is going to be user. So the username, to get that information, we're going to go over to the Azure portal. Go in and click on the storage account that we have house the file share. Click on file share. And we're going to go to this file share one. So we're going to click on it. Click on where it says connect. And click on where it says show script. Here we're going to look for the where it says slash user right here, and we want to get everything before localhost, after localhost, so that would be plot, plot for gs In this case, we go back here, we put that as our username, now we want to get the password, so we go back, and we look here where it says pass, you go in and you get that data from here, So now we copy the pass. That's right before the single quote is. It says equal equal. I'm going to go ahead and put in that password. Now the next thing we want to get from this screen is basically the Azure File Share UNC path, which is right here, right before it says persist. So here we copy that and we go and paste it as the path to test. So just click click here and just click test. This is not required, but at least to give you whether or not this is you've got it configured properly. I'm going to keep that in your clipboard because we're going to paste it somewhere else. Click save. Now we can go to destination and we paste the UNC path that we got for the Azure file share. We click browse. It actually shows you if there's any data in here or any subfolders, you'll see them there. Check the box as as our destination. Click OK. Now we click Save. And we can right click on here to trigger the job. Now that we've created it, click on Start. The job is now queued. If you click on where it says queued, it will actually show you the progress. So the job should run momentarily. It's impersonating and it's connecting now. And it's just started copying data to. Azure files. Now the job, we've got 12 files to be copied. Uh, so far we've had 10, 10 folders. And it shows you that there are 12 files remaining, 8 files remaining, 4 files remaining. And these are the files that have been copied. And the job is successful. Click close. Remember how, let's go ahead and verify that the job is completed successfully. You could double click on where the job is. And you click on browse. Initially, we did not have any folders created, but now you can see we've got all these folders created because we ran the job. Now, of course, if you reverse this to that being the source, you will copy data. You can copy data from Azure files doing the same exact method. Now, now we showed you how to use GHS Copy 360 Enterprise to copy data to Azure files. In this case, we used the access key, but you could also use your Domain account extra directory if your Azure files is bound to AD and you've got the proper permissions to do so. Um, if you have any questions, let us know and thank you for viewing.